the woman there on the sofa. On the I'm sorry, there. but I can't accept... Sorry, sorry, start. Yeah, go on. Sorry, I was just saying, I'm sorry, that, but I can't accept Liz's arguments that they're trying to remove the pool factors for migrants, because what is uh, increasing the living wage to £9 in 2020 going to do? Especially Eastern Europeans who have a minimum wage that's already one-tenth of what ours is, surely that's going to increase net migration. So what, what would you do? Not, not touch the minimum wage or get out of the EU and control the borders? I would the get out of the EU so we could have a fair um, points-based system, so we don't favour people from outside of the EU over people in the EU, because we can have someone unskilled within Europe coming in without any questions, but a really talented doctor from India has to go through a really intensive process. OK. Diana, it doesn't make sense. You answer? Pick up her points, if you would. My parents were immigrants, so the audience will forgive me if I say I worry about a narrative on immigration which only stresses the negatives, which, which is riddled with myths that immigrants just come here to sit down and live off benefits, and actually panders to people and raises expectations that you can clear the streets of anyone foreign looking, when in 2016, in a globalised world, it's not going to happen. I was in the House of Commons this week, and one of his own Conservative MPs asked David Cameron, with his fiddling around with benefits, how many fewer migrants will we see? He didn't answer. Cameron's renegotiation is a con. It's a con. It's about managing the Tory party. It, it's all about his internal management as a Tory party. There are reasons to stay in Europe. There are reasons to stay out of Europe. I personally am glad we're having a referendum. I think it should be the people's <coughs> referendum. It shouldn't be dominated by the games they're playing in the Tory party, Dave versus Boris. I think we should look at the real issues, have a genuine debate. It's a once-in-a-lifetime debate. Yeah, we know all that. Well, well all right. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait yeah. a minute. Now, the question, the, yeah. now, I want to go back to the question that Daryl asked, which was about immigration. You know the Tory party had this plan at the last election, the manifesto, to limit immigration to tens of thousands. Yeah, but that's what's, your, no, what's your opinion on the level of immigration that this country should try to achieve, or do you think it should be open to anybody? We've never had. This country's never had open door immigration. Now, what do you think? <laughs> Well, Where have you been for the last... I've season? actually been in Hackney dealing with thousands of people every year trying to get their, their relatives and their mothers and their children. That's where I've been. That's why I know we don't have open-door immigration. I wouldn't want to give a figure. I think the important thing is we have a fair immigration system, an immigration system which works for our economy. I don't think you can give a figure. I think All the right. Tories have got into trouble putting out figures which they can't meet. 